Inserting fields and blocks. In a table, we can insert text, we can insert cells that contain fields, we can insert formulas, and we can insert blocks. Now, blocks are covered in a couple more chapters, but essentially they're grouped objects. So we have a bunch of objects in a group. Let's take a look at inserting some fields. If we go up here and say insert, we can insert a field. And then we pick through the fields. I'm going to go to date. And I'll pick a, you know, I'll pick a, a type of date here. Uh, let's go with, uh, I'll do a, a short date here and say OK. And it plops in a date for us. Uh, you know, I can change a different types. I can go in a field. And I can pick different types of dates if I want. I could do a date and time type thing. You know, plop those in for me. So let's put in one more field. And I can put in uh, okay, different types of date formats. So I can put any type of field I want in. I can do formulas, which we'll learn later in this chapter. And we put text in and blocks. We might want to put a circle around this or a polygon type thing to represent our symbol that's used as a tag for our window or door schedule, perhaps. So there's a variety of things we can do with that. Um, so when we click on that, we're going to insert a block and we can insert those blocks. But uh, we'll learn that in a couple of chapters. So we can insert fields and blocks coming up here using the insert panel.